Okay, welcome back. In the last video, we just learned the for loop. So now in this video, we are going to learn the while loop. So now, what's the while loop? Uh, the difference, uh, the basic difference is that for loop is convenient when you are having a range. Uh, just for example, in the last video, I know that I have to run my loop four times. Sometimes the iteration is not fixed, like it is going to stop when some certain condition is met. Okay, the example uh, is that uh, some guessing game. So if I have to develop something that keep on the guessing until you will find the answer. So in that particular case, we are going to use a while loop. So let's learn the syntax of a while loop. The difference is that the initialization, this part is going to be outside before while. And here I'm going to use file loop. And this part, the step part, that is going to be inside the loop. So this is our while loop. We just segregate all three things of a for loop in this manner so that it would be a while loop syntax. So let's run this and you can see the same output is there. So now x is equal to zero. So now this is the initialization part. So whenever it is trying to enter in this block, this is going to be checked first. So inside, whenever all the statement is executed or in between, I just increment the value. So next time it is going to check this thing again with a new value of x. And on the basis of that, either this block is going to execute or not. So that does all about the while loop. So let's learn with the do while loop. So in a do while loop, I'm going to cut this and I'm going to paste it below. And here I'm going to put simple do. So now, <coughs> what's the difference between do and do while and simple while loop is that the while is entry control loop. It means before enter into this block, the condition is checked. But here do while on the exit section, it's going to be checked. And this is the difference that here is a semicolon. So now it means there is a one free entry to this block after that the condition is checked. So now if I'm going to compile the same program, you can observe that same output is there. So now let's consider our x to 10. Though if I'm going to compare it with the while loop, 10 is less than or equal to 3, that is false. But the do while will give me a one free entry. So let's check this. And you can observe that one time there is a free entry to this block and one time the hello is printed on the screen. After that, this is false. At the exit point, it's checked the value of x. So this is all about the loops. So in next lecture, we are going to cover a little bit about the functions. So keep tuned and let me know if you, let me know in the description if you need if you are having any confusion. Thanks for watching.